Hey, welcome back, Collective. Thank you for joining me here. Collective, I want to pick on some animal totems for you at this time. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. I appreciate you coming here. I appreciate your contributions, guys. I appreciate your energy. It's always a pleasure to know that. So, co-create with spirit here. And watch what you say. To bring your ideas to life, you can overcome any obstacle. Slow and steady wins the race here. Let it shine. Let it shine. But you're going to have to be careful who you're sharing with. Because there is going to be a conflict here. And it may be to do... It could be that a conflict with your tribes. Okay, so... You've got a lot of gifts here. And you've got the gift of foresight. But be careful who you share things with. Be careful who you are speaking to. Let's go. What's going on here? Let it shine. You're busy manifesting. And you have liberated yourself. You are about to receive some blessings. Something that will make you very happy. But you're going to have to clear and detach from something. In order to find this happiness, finding these signs, let your authentic humanity shine forth while also bowing to the inner divine that you can become fluent in doing both. Hmm. Let me get into the tarot. Slow and steady wins the race here. Whatever you're working on could be your career. It could be shedding some light on something. You could be working really hard here. Hmm. Hang on. There is some conflict here. So you're going to have to watch what you say. You're going to have to watch what you say. Because there is going to be some kind of conflict here. Somebody may turn around and blame you or accuse you. I am... Don't get angry. Don't get angry, whatever this is. You could be angry at someone, but watch your words. Watch what you say, because I don't think that there's... Somebody's got to watch their mouth. <clears throat> Hmm. 
Let it shine. Let it shine. Hmm. Don't say anything you're going to regret later. Don't say anything out of haste. Don't say anything out of anger. Even if you are angry, Spirit is saying, keep your temper in check. It's like even if something, there's some conflict here, but watch what, watch your words, watch what you say, because I don't think there's somebody here you can trust. Mm hmm. Don't ignore the signs. Something is going on here. Hmm. You're going to have to watch what you say. My God. It's like Look, you've you've got some kind of blessings coming in here. Hmm. You could have an idea about something. You got to be careful who you are sharing your um ideas with. Like if you're getting a lot of good ideas and stuff like that, Keep them to yourself. Only share them with those who you know you can count on and trust. Because you've got somebody else here who's up to no good here. Because somebody is looking to have some conflict with you okay or somebody could be go okay somebody could be going through a conflict and it's like they could be coming to you for some sort of guidance they might want to get you all wrapped up in what they got going on in your life respond you know in a loving way or whatever but watch what you say because they're going to use those words against you somehow so it's like somebody bringing you into some kind of conflict it's not your conflict it's like you somebody else has a conflict and they're coming to you for like your opinion or they're they're coming to you for some sort of like advice or talking to you be careful what you say to that person because they're trying to use those words to f you up with especially if people are having marital problems or people are having some kind of conflict in their relationship it's like this one twists uh, and distorts what you say you're going to have to speak clear and less is more. The less you say, the better off you're going to be.
I said, someone's going to turn it around on you. It's almost like, you know, they're trying to get information out of you or getting you to say something about a situation so that they can turn around and make conflict for you. It's weird. It's like a trick or a trap. They're trying to trick you or trap you somehow. So watch the words that you say. So somebody else could be having a conflict here. Say someone else is in a conflict and you give your opinion or they are got hurt feelings or something. They, they start talking to you about their personal situation. Be careful because this is a trickster energy. It's like they want you to give up some kind of information so that they can use it against you. Turn it around and use it against you. Jesus. Because... There is a conflict. You might want to keep something to yourself, especially when it's to do with your siblings. Or the past, past person. You you might just have to be quiet. You might just have to keep something to yourself. You may know something. You may know something, okay? You may know something but it's best to keep it to yourself because they're going to turn around and lie about it. This is a friend because they're in lacking abundance and it's like, oh, this is a friend who's going to betray you. This is a two-faced friend. Keep something private. Keep it to yourself. Even though you know the truth, even though you know, because you're the high priestess, even though you know, if you say something about whatever conflict this is, You've got someone, you've got a friend that you sh is a two-faced friend. They're going behind your back and they're repeating what you've said. And this person's going to think it's you who said it. But if you say very little, they can't blame you for something. It's like you could say, I'm sorry, I don't have an opinion on that, or I'm sorry, I don't want to get involved with this. It's almost like someone's coming to you to get information out about you, like to get information out of you so that they can turn around and use that and stab someone in the back with it. Even though you know what this is about, it could be family or a two-faced friend or a two-faced family member who, who is like everything you say, everything you say, they go repeat, but they switch it up on you. Oh my God. You got a two-faced friend here that you should not trust. Just stay. Do your own thing. Secretly move in silence. Say as little as possible about your past people, about your friends, about family, whatever. Because there is one little uh, two-faced friend here who would like to seek to cause you some... Um, disruption
and the, if you if you stay silent and you don't say anything they're going to expose themselves Yeah, they're using this to defame your name with. Hmm. And then, you know, they come in. This is a this is a friend of me. They come in, oh, hey collective, how are you? Just thought I'd stay in stay in touch with you somehow. How are things going? You know, why don't you come for a visit? Why don't you come for a coffee? And then you go there and right away they got the hundred questions for you. So what have you been up to? What have you been doing? Oh, really? How much did that cost? What did this do? How much is this? Uh, who have you been talking to? Who you have? You, they're pumping you for info. They're salty. And they want to get a reaction. Mm. They're jealous of you. And they're trying to defame your name. You're going to have to watch what you tell people. You're going to have to watch what you say because you got somebody here, a two-faced friend, who is twisting and distorting everything you've been telling them. Affirmation. Zip. Keep your personal life personal. What you're doing in your family private. Keep your home life private. Keep yourself private. And I know many of you do anyway. I know many of you are. But you got one person here for sure, for sure. Who's been taking, they pretend they're a friend. But they're two-faced. You know what I used to do? <laughs> I used to feed them full of bullshit. That's what I used to do. I used to tell them all this freaking bullshit that I knew that they were going to repeat around. And then they end up looking foolish. So if you're going to tell them anything at all, tell them lies. Feed their ass full of bullshit. And let them go spread that around. Mm, mm, mm. I don't know if this is a co-worker. I don't know if this is just a, a family member or a friend or an acquaintance who is jealous of you. Oh, yeah, I talked to the collective. They told me this. They told me that. They told me the other thing. This one can't wait till you back his turn so they can stab it. They're jealous of you. So it's like whatever you say, they repeat. So how I you <laughs> I learned this trick quite a few years ago. If you want something to get around, tell that person or feed them full of BS and they go repeat it all and then they end up looking like an idiot. That's how to fix their wagons. Feed them all the bullshit you can handle. Either that or keep it to yourself. Trying to make you some sacrificial lamb for their own agenda. 
You have the power to overcome whatever obstacle you want. It's like you're trying to bring your ideas to life. So don't tell this person because they're trying to sabotage you. Okay? Before it even gets out the gate. Every idea you have, they're trying to sabotage you with it. It's like they pick your brain for your ideas. They're picking you, picking you apart. Like the 20 questions, every time you see them and they're pretending that, you know, they're genuinely concerned. Does this family? Somebody's competing with you and your family. It's like, hey, I want to know if we can get together. You feel like coming for a visit? You want to go out to lunch or whatever like that? And you know damn well what they're doing with that. You can either BS them and fill them so full of crap that they never come and visit you again or you could just keep it private and tell them well I'm not ready to discuss that or I don't feel like talking about that it's, it's because you're about to shine or you're shining and they want to Take that shine out of your life. Affirmation. Just tell them, no, I'm that information I am not giving. I've got boundaries and I am not talking about that subject or I don't feel comfortable talking about that with you. You can be direct. You can be silent. You might have to be sneaky how to get out of it, but you will. So you don't trust them. And they're not to be trusted. Take care now.